Hello everyone, it's me Emmanuel XS and in this video I'm gonna be telling you a little bit um uh, just being a little more specific or just a little tip or information whatever you want to call of Time Machine. Time Machine it's a application that comes with every new Mac and it can be used to do um some backups of your computer of every file you wanna every file you wanna back up or every program that you deleted and you gonna you wanna go back or install it again this time machine it works on every Mac that comes with the new new um the the low part uh, Mac OS 10 and to use it you need to buy obviously a hard drive You need to buy a hard drive to use this program. I have one over here. To do though, you need to format it or rest or delete your hard drive completely. Back up all your information on your other computer and then uh, format uh, the hard drive or you can just click delete and that's more easier. Anyways, um, so you click it and you open Time Machine and it's gonna ask you if you wanna make sure you wanna delete your backup information. So you just do it and then um, it tells you what's next. For example, in this hard drive I have 500 gigabyte as you can see. And this is my time machine backup. As you can see over here, this is my folder of backups. Here are all my backups of my computer. They are all over here. They are all over here. But I'm gonna give you a good tip. If you wanna do this, uh, that is pretty cool because you can if you delete a file from uh, from your trash you can get it back but to do it you need to do time machine so the best way to do a time machine the requirements to use it is to buy a hard drive at least at least of 500 gigabytes like the one I have right here but this was only for little stuff that I have. I, I didn't, didn't use it too much, but I just have 62 avail available and I used um, 400. That's a lot, but still, that is not a lot in other words for me. But if you want to um, do a good backup, 500 gigabytes at least to do it better buy 750 gigs 700 something around that but I have in my time machine backups I have 1.36 gigabytes that means I have a capacity of 1.36 terabyte. It is 1.5 terabytes in other words, but yeah, you know when it needs some part to to make it work and get the the hard drive to work. So there are with 1.5 terabytes or 2 terabytes, it works great. I'm telling you this because I have been doing some backups and stuff like that damn man it works great you will love it for example I'm gonna be showing you uh, a little thing over here with time machine okay the options you need to know they are over here in time machine on top of your screen and then you go to open time machine preference and then it's gonna give you this 
window and it's gonna tell you all your information right here the how many gigs or terabytes available the oldest backup when was it the last backup the next backup it takes everything you can change the disk from the backups you can add more disk as you can see over here you can add more disk and you can put um warm when all backups are deleted or backup when on battery power you can add or delete more time machines hard drives or whatever you want to do um also you can put this option if you want to but if don't you just go to system preference I'm sorry about that I'm sorry you just go to system preference and then you just go to time machine and there you go the same thing you can put it on or off if you want to lock the prevent future change so no one can change it only you with with Pasco obviously here is the screen of time machine in this button we have cancel to cancel it shows you the date uh, what day you are like if I click next it show me yesterday I mean today sorry about that today at 959 today yesterday 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 Sunday and so on you can click over here so you can go back or go oh over here we have um, the same thing as this and just the clicking over here and but here is uh, like if you if you don't wanna click like every single time to to so you, can, so you can look what time you have you can just look at the time and boom just click it and automatically it's gonna give you to the date that you choose so anyways guys um, I hope this is very useful for some people that don't know some of time machine and if you have any questions or comment just talk to me and I'm gonna be um, I can answer your email your messages uh, don't worry about that I have a a little time to do that so you can comment me or email me whatever you wanna I do um if you wanna make if you wanna um, if you want me to do to make some video tutorials or some information or stuff just email me at my email it's gonna be in my youtube channel you can check it out um, I'm gonna be doing more of this and stuff like that anyways guys I hope you enjoyed my video over here and thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys later.